today is the first Friday in June, and that makes it National Donut Day. A local donut shop, uh, local donut shops rather, are celebrating. Yeah, uh, we like National Donut Day. Cor Harlan on a donut tour this morning. He joins us live from Delicious Donuts, and uh, you know this town really has some real great donut shops, Cor. I mean, all sorts of donuts, traditional donuts, exotic donuts, savory donuts, sweet donuts. Speaking of sweet, here's a sweet donut maker right here. This is Penny of Penny and Boone here at Delicious Donuts at the corner of East Burnside and Grand Avenue. Your husband gets in here last night, he tells me, at 10 o'clock and starts making donuts. Yes, got to get ready for National Donut Day. It's a big, big day. Over 1,000 donuts. Does this ever get, uh, this, is, well, this is like a Super Bowl day for you guys, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, they got to, Carl, show them, the, show them the counter because they've been up here, Penny and Boone have been up here. Get back to work here because you've got customers waiting already here. I mean, it's just beautiful, all sorts of beautiful donuts uh, to celebrate, again, National Donut Day. Now, they have something, for, for a lot of you who don't know this, they have something called an underground donut tour that uh, kind of goes from donut shop to donut shop in the downtown area. It's a walking tour we took part in yesterday. And uh, here's what we experienced on our donut tour yesterday in the underground donut tour. All right, there's Bolafe with the underground donut tour. First stop is Sesame Donuts. This is an oldie but a goodie. How many locations in Portland area? They got eight locations eight now. Locations. Their newest location on Pal. It's a, a delicious uh, I mean, they stop got, they got. They got some, some traditional, some oldies, some goodies, the sesame signature, right? Yes, sir. They're doing a good job of turning those classics donuts into something a little more unique. This raspberry cream cheese, you won't find this at any other donut shop. Mm -hmm. And it's somewhere of like a cheesecake donut, if you will. Mm -hmm. Would you like to start with that guy? Uh, That's yes, fine. Yes, we're all, yes, all going to eat them the same Just so you guys know, my name is Bo. I'm the general manager here on the Underground Donut Tour. I've been running tours for about two years. Uh, the tour itself is from Chicago, and it's about six years old. Um, this whole thing, we use the word tour. This is really more of a crawl. Don Belushi's on the tour, too. Huh? <laughs> this next one we're going to try here is a little bit more of a sinister donut. This is the Devil's Glaze. Oh, he's going in for seconds. I like it. <laughs> I'm saying I got by Okay, twice, that's I like good. That's good. About a five or a ten minute little walk from Sesame Donuts on to Phil's Donuts. We have the pimento cheese, the yuzu peppercorn, white Verona chocolate, maple bacon, and the chocolate peanut butter praline. We'll actually start with the chocolate peanut butter praline. Yes, let's. Chocolate peanut butter praline. <laughs> it's, oh a, it's, a, it's a very unique combination. Savory donut. <laughs> like yes. Oh my God, I love Tastes this. Like <laughs> Different than the last one? You should just do it. Just do it there. What's one bite? You know? it's, it's just one little mint. Probably not going to kill me today. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Donuts, guys. Nola Donuts. Hey, oh, hey. my gosh. Wow. We can get started anyways, guys. I like to start with the beignets because they're hot and fresh. He's going to bring us out another thing here. And the beignet has a dipping sauce? Yes, sir. That's a marionberry dipping sauce. Half a blackberry, half a raspberry, but uh, mm. it's the perfect berry. I'll pop mm. the top off there. And why don't you guys start with these? Oh, my gosh. My 11-year-old would just eat that whole tray. I mean, the beignet might be the only donut on the tour that has a 100% success rate. No one doesn't like beignets. Yeah. What are the things? They're just sprinkles. What's your favorite one, huh? Yes, sir. I can't get enough of this one. Oh, my. <laughs> I eat with your mouth over the hole here. You, get, you got <laughs> another <laughs> rookie mistake. Yeah. One bite. One bite. One yeah, bite. it's a one bite. You got a mouth on you like a boa constrictor. Do you see him get that down? Oh my God. <laughs> the quality is unreal. It's next level. And people love donuts in Oregon because we can produce everything in this donut. We can get it from right here in Oregon. So that's why it's our food. It's our number one thing. It's good to be number one at something like that. I mean, really, that underground donut tour, by the way, you go to look them up on the, uh, on the internet. Uh, you can make appointments. Come on, you're okay to come through. Uh, you can make appointments on the internet. They are just getting kicked off with their summer donut tour season, uh, starting donut day today, going all summer. Check them out because it's a fun way to spend some time, have some donuts, a conversation with people you may not know for a couple of hours. Back up here from left to right, this is one of my favorites here, delicious donuts, donut bread pudding. 
right there. That is glazed. They got pride donuts right here. If that's it, and then coming down here further to the right, double lemon s'mores, and then right down here, the dirty penny and the dirty boon. That's dirty penny behind the counter there. Her husband is back in there making uh, donuts. So make it a donut day, and I want you to everybody to know here. Look out for these things as well. There's a guy named Mike Bennett here who puts these together. These are little cutouts, you call them, right? Little cutouts. He's going to spread about 100 of these or 100 and more than 100 of these out in various locations in the city today. And if you bring it back here to Delicious Donuts, you get a free donut. So be on the lookout for these things wherever you may be today, as Bill Shonley used to say. Come back and get a free Delicious Donut on what is arguably probably should be the, the best national holiday, one of the best national holidays of the year, in my opinion, National Donut Day. All right. Well, very good. I'm, I'm impressed uh, by a couple of things that you were able to consume all of those donuts and that yes. you were able to get John Belushi to come along with you. Exactly. That was fantastic. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> Brought yeah. him back to life. He's a real donut fan, that guy. Yeah. I got a favorite donut I'm going to share with you guys in about an hour. We got, we got some donuts mm -hmm. coming into the station. I'm going to, there's a, there's a secret donut. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. Mm -hmm. You have to hang around for an hour to find out. It was delicious yesterday oh. on the tour. We'll bring back some donuts from Delicious Donuts, too. Okay. Eating his way through Portland. Right. Yeah, Carl, Carl, this is like This Carly's is like torture looking at this, day. so this is nice to hear that donuts are coming yeah. in. <laughs> yes, we, we will get some donuts, we understand, out of this whole deal. So uh, that is fantastic. Thanks, Cor. Yeah, who knew there was a tour? I mean, I should have known know, there an was underground a tour. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense. We have so many shops it out here. It totally shops. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we tour everything here. We yeah. do. You know, <laughs> Why not? There's a tour for everything mm -hmm. in Portland. Well, let's take a look at our uh, weather and traffic right now. Uh, Carly's going to look at what's happening out on the roads. But uh, weather-wise, what do we see for today, Kelly? Well, today, if a donut doesn't bring a smile to your face this morning, the sun.